Hello, Orange Room friends. It's Anne. Let's sing our hello song. One, two, three. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Muy bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Okay, so I've got my April calendar here. Let's take a look. I'm not going to forget about that pattern today either. Okay, so the last time you saw me was on Monday. And then yesterday you saw Michelle on Tuesday. So what would today be? It's got a wah, wah. What sound? Is it Wacky Wednesday with a W? I think it is. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll stick this over here this time. All right. And yesterday was April 21. So if it was the 21 or 21st yesterday, what would it be today? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So it's going to have a two and a two, but I'm not going to show you yet because we have to do our pattern, right? So let's see what our pattern is again. Yesterday was purple. Hmm, what would it be today? We kind of got a lot of numbers up here so we can kind of see what that pattern is, but let's just go over it and just in case. Purple, 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 yellow. 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 Purple, purple. So it's going to be a purple umbrella with a 22, right? Hey, wait a minute. I see the purple umbrella. I see the two and the two, but what's this? Huh, I don't know what that's there for. Oh, wait a minute. Here's my friend Twigs. He knows so many things. Maybe he knows. Twigs, what is this all about? Oh, Twigs says it's Earth Day. And this is a little picture of planet Earth. Planet Earth is round like a ball. And you can see on here, maybe if I have a bigger picture. Oh, Twigs brought a bigger picture. There's a bigger picture. There's the blue is the water and the green is the land. And the that's the planet Earth. But what about this Earth Day? Hmm, let me see. Oh, Twig says it's a special day where we have to, re where we're reminded to take care of our Earth, our planet that we live on, but to remember to take care of it every day, right? So it's a special day to remind us that every day we have to take care of our planet, right? Okay. And what else? Oh, he says that there, it's been 50 years since they first decided to have an Earth Day on April 22nd. 50 years, that's a long time ago. I was only nine years old then. You know, come to think of it, I think I remember when I was a child, I do, that we made posters in school about Earth Day. And I think I made a picture of a 
child putting some garbage in the garbage can because I said not to be a litter bug. That means don't throw garbage on the ground, right? And back then where I lived, we didn't even have recycling bins or recycling trucks. But now we do, and that's even better if you can recycle the, um, the trash and, or even better, reuse it. Like when we reuse our toilet paper tubes for our, or our boxes, or we maybe your parents might save a box and reuse it to send it something to somebody else in the box and rather than just throwing it in the recycling or the garbage, right? And also there's another R word. So re recycle starts with an R. Reuse starts with an R. And there's this other R word. Let's see. These are R words. Do you see that little R? The other R word is reduce. So it's reduce, reuse, and recycle. And reduce means try to use less of things. So like when you bring your lunchbox, for when you have lunch away from home and you use a lunchbox instead of a paper bag and you reuse your lunchbox, that means you're reducing, you're using less of the paper bags. So you're, you're not wasting. So there's all ways, different ways. Let's see how different ways we can take care of our planet. Don't be wasteful. Oh, here's a good idea. Draw on both sides of the paper. That's a good idea. So you don't have to use so much paper. Reusable, not disposable. Like use a lunchbox and a reusable water bottle instead of paper bags and plastic water bottles. Save energy. Turn off the lights when you're not using them. Reuse packaging. Make new things out of boxes, empty cardboard tubes, plastic containers, and lids and things. We do that, right? Recycle trash. If you can't reuse it, put paper, cardboard, cans, bottles in the recycling bin. And try to use a car less. Sometimes try to walk or ride your bike or share rides or ride a train or a bus when you can. Right now, it's a little hard to do that, but when you can, it's sometimes, I know that some of you sometimes rode your bike or walked to school, and that's saving energy, and that's good for Earth, planet Earth. So, let's read a little story about our Earth, okay? It's called Curious George Plants a Tree. Hmm, you know, another way you can take care of the planet is to try to plant trees and save trees because tr did you know that trees actually make our air cleaner? They do. So they're really good things to have. We have lots of trees around here, so that's nice. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was a good day to be curious. The man with the yellow hat was talk, taking George to the science museum. The museum was one of George's favorite places. There was always something new to see and interesting to learn. Often there was a special exhibit. George wanted to know what it was today, but first he had to make his favorite museum stops. stops. The rocket room, the, butter, the mirror maze and the butterfly space. Oh, that's right. We have to look at our caterpillars too. Speaking of butterflies. Finally, George and his friend made it to the special exhibits room. The sign read, how you can take care of our planet. George learned many things. How all people, animals, plants, air, and water on the planet make up the environment. How trees help keep the air clean. And how people can protect the environment from pollution and too much trash. So people give, when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. And when trees need the carbon dioxide, and then they give oxygen, which people breathe. So we, they, the trees help us and we help the trees, I guess. 
George had a great time and didn't get into any of his usual mischief because he can be a mischief, mischievous monkey, can't he? Hmm, I hope it's enough light here. And he and his friend were leaving. As he and his friend were leaving, they bumped into the museum director. Dr. Lee looked happy to see him. How is my, my best monkey visitor, Dr. Lee asked George. I'm so glad I ran into you. I wanted to tell you that we're having a Green Day rally tomorrow at the park. George was curious. Whatever a rally was, he was sure that the park was a good place to do it. We're going to plant a truckload of trees and collect used paper for recycling, Dr. Lee explained. We didn't have much time to advertise, but we need lots of volunteers. How would you like to help out? There was nothing that George liked better than to help. What a great idea, the man agreed. We'll be there. See, there's the trees that... They're going to plant. That night, George was ready to do his part for the recycling drive. He gathered every newspaper in the house. He stacked old mail on top of papers. He piled empty cardboard boxes and food cartons on top of that. What a heap. What more could he add? George scratched his head. Then he took several books off his bedroom shelf. Just as George was about to add them to his recycling pile, someone lifted the books out of his hands. Not so fast, George, the man said. These books are made of paper, all right, but you can read and enjoy them many times. And when you're done, you can donate them to other kids or your library. Reusing is just as important as recycling. Can you see these? I'm thinking there's not. It's a little bit dark, isn't it? Let's see if I can make this a little bit brighter. I'm going to pause for a minute and open the... Okay, I tried switching around a little. I'm hoping that maybe you can see it a little bit better. It's a little hard to see this for some reason. Okay. So anyway, so the man was saying that reusing is just as important as recycling. The next morning, George and his friends set out for the park with their wagon of neatly stacked paper. Suddenly, the man stopped and said, I forgot my gardening gloves. Go on without me, George. I'll be there soon. As George walked down the street, he spotted several newspapers lying about on his neighbor's front stoops. George had an idea. He had lots of room in his wagon. He could recycle all those newspapers. Oh my goodness, he's taking newspapers before the, before they even have a chance to read it. Oh no. And the newspapers were not the only thing he could recycle. He noticed a stack of paper cups sitting on a table under a tree. Into the wagon they went. Oh no, they haven't even used those cups yet. So did a pile of magazines. These magazines haven't even been read yet. And a heap of papers someone left on the sidewalk. Oh, these are files that somebody's trying to move. And he's putting them in the recycling. George was happy with his great load. At the park, he found Dr. Lee standing under a big banner. Good morning, George, said Dr. Lee. I'm so glad you came and brought all your friends. We needed lots of help to get the job, job done. George turned around and to his, he was surprised to see so many faces, but they did not look very helpful. They looked angry. He took their newspapers and their cups and their files. He didn't understand, did he? 
The man with the yellow hat arrived just in time. He explained to the neighbors that George was gathering paper for a good cause. They were no longer mad. They even stayed to help plant the trees. George, you saved our green day, Dr. Lee said with gratitude. Those, these trees will provide fresher air, and each summer we'll have more shade, which means we'll use less water to keep the grass green. Thank you. Being a monkey, George had known all along how important trees were. And at the end, there's some, there's some ideas like we were talking about, about how, ways that you can reuse, recycle, and reduce. So, all right, let's take a look at our caterpillars now. <gasps> Do you see them? So, I think they've gotten a little bit bigger. They're still pretty little, but I remember when they were just about half the length of my pinky finger, the, the, the first digit of my pinky finger right there, that first part, that bendy part. And now they're almost as long as that. Let me see if I can use the ruler this time. I measured how much they were, how much half my pinky finger was last time, and it was half an inch. So remember the ruler has numbers and it's a way to measure. So let's see how long it is now. <gasps> Today, it goes to just about three quarters of an inch. So before they were just this long, and now they're this long. So this long instead of this long, if you can see that. So I'm gonna put three quarters of an inch down on our chart. And we still have one, two, three, four. In the fifth, number five, the fifth caterpillar is up near the top of the jar. So we still have five caterpillars and they're still dark brown. So I will write that on here. Let's take down our calendar for a minute and I'll write that. Oops. On April 22nd, April 22nd, we have five caterpillars. They're three quarters of an inch long and they're dark brown. So we're gonna keep track of how these change, okay? All right. Now, I was thinking, since it's Earth Day, let's have a little celebration and make a special Earth Day snack. So first, because I'm gonna be working with food and we're being very careful about washing your hands, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna go wash my hands. I just learned how to pause, so now I can do that. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. My hands are nice and clean. And I wanted to show you, this is a picture of Earth map that's flattened out and kind of lengthened out so that you can see all the land that's on planet Earth. So there are six big masses of land on planet Earth. There's North America, where we live, and there's South America. And there's this little bit of land that's part of North America that connects North and South America. Then there's Europe, and it's attached to Asia. And there's Africa, and there's Australia. And down here on the South Pole is Antarctica. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
of those big land masses, and they're called continents. There's seven continents. And then all this blue is the water. There's the earth is, has lots and lots of water. That's the oceans. So I thought we could make a snack that kind of looks like planet earth. So if you have, I have a bit, half of a bagel that I toasted. You could use a bagel. You could use a round rice cake. You could even use a English muffin or a maybe even a round piece of toast. So I've got a bagel and then I've got cream cheese. Now you could also use peanut butter, almond butter, butter, sunflower butter, or some other kind of spread. But I'm going to use cream cheese. So I'm going to put a spoonful of cream cheese in my bowl. And then I'm going to make mine just a tiny, tiny bit sweet. I don't like it real sweet, but I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of honey. Do you remember Michelle was telling you all about honey and how it comes from bees? So the, the honey from this honey came, the bees got the nectar from macadamia trees. This is macadamia honey. So different honeys look and taste different depending on where the, what blossoms the bees visited. Okay, so I've got a little bit of honey. Now, there's another flavoring that I kind of like. I'm gonna use my napkin for a minute. It's called vanilla, vanilla extract. Sometimes you'll use this in cookies or cakes or ice cream. I think we might've put a little bit of that when we made the mint ice cream, I can't remember. We had mint flavor, but I don't remember if we used any vanilla. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a little, little tiny bit of vanilla in there too, just to give it some more flavor. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want. And then I'm gonna stir my cream cheese and my honey and my vanilla up. I might need a tiny bit more cream cheese. Let me put a little bit more cream cheese in there. Okay, and that's gonna taste really good, I think. I think honey and peanut butter or almond butter or some other spread would taste good too, but you don't have to make it sweet if you don't want to. You could also use sugar instead of honey. Remember when we did our taste test, when we were doing about our five sentences and we used sugar for sweet? That also would make it taste a little bit sweet. So I'm gonna put my cream cheese with the honey and the vanilla in the, that I've mixed honey and vanilla in and I'm gonna spread it around my bagel. I'm gonna try to cover up that hole because we don't want a hole in the middle of our earth, right? Okay, so now I've got a round circle that kind of looks like our map of planet Earth. And now I've got some grapes. Now I didn't want to eat the grapes whole, so I cut some in half. And these are going to be my continents. So remember the continents were the, the land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to count. One, that's North America, South America, Europe, Asia. So some continents are bigger than others. Mine, um, my grapes are kind of all the same size, but that's okay. And then I've got Af uh, Australia. I have Africa and Australia, and then way down on the bottom, I've got Antarctica. So that's my continents. And then I'm gonna use blueberries. If you don't have blueberries, you could maybe use red grapes or just some other color that 
to look different from your land. It doesn't even have to be blue. Like maybe you'd use bananas and raspberries or something, whatever you happen to have. But I'm gonna cover the rest of my cream cheese with, with blueberries to be my water. And this, I want to make sure my, that's one reason I wanted to make sure my hands were clean is because I'm using my fingers to do this. And so you want to make sure when you're eating that you have nice, clean hands. Okay. So now I've got, where's my picture of the globe? So remember, this was my picture of the, the globe, or this one has the, you can see all the continents. And now this is my earth glow. <laughs> so anyway, so happy Earth Day, Orange Room friends, and I'll see you next time. And remember, try to take care of your planet Earth. And we'll talk maybe some other day some about other ways we can do that. Okay, bye-bye.